Hey YouTube, Jay Stevens here. And Spartacus. Oh. Okay, um, getting ready to finally go hiking. I'm excited. We're gonna go right after Thanksgiving. Anyways, uh, have an unboxing today. I'm gonna try to get right through it and then I'm gonna speak to it. I did a custom order. I was in the market for a new tarp. If you watch any of my videos when I was just starting out, I had the Clark Vertex tarp. And I believe that is like a 10 by 10 or an 11 by 11 foot tarp. I wanted to go, it, it was, it's a great tarp. It's waterproof and all of that and it's camo. And it's, it's a great tarp. Um, I just wanted something a little bigger for the deep winter. So I ordered, I was on hammock forums and I've been looking at two tarps, the Superfly and the old man winner back and forth back and forth back and forth and there is a price associated with it i came across in the vendor section another guy that uh, was one of these cottage vendors just starting out working out of his garage and whatnot but he is from mountain wilderness gear so there is no website or it wasn't back in september october when i ordered so you Facebook them. Basically, what's really appealing is he'll get you any of the fabrics that he can get from his supplier and he'll custom make you one. And his price is much cheaper. Instead of $175, $155, all of that, he's down in the $95 range. Or, disclaimer, at the time that I bought mine. So let's get on to the unboxing and we will have a look at what he's made. And I'll be using this on my trip. So let me switch camera angles here for a quick sec. All right, so when I was corresponding back and forth, I basically asked him what the popular colors were and how this works is in order to keep prices low, and allow for modifications for each piece of gear. Um, he'll take your order, he'll order some the gear, the fabric. Normally it's a two to three weeks from the time you pay, place the invoice so that he orders the fabric, receives it, and ships it. He told me that the popular colors that he has are olive drab, coyote brown, charcoal gray, forest green, olive brown, black. I ended up going with, let's see, olive brown. I wanted something a little more unique. So let's take a look, see how it came out. Again, this is a, this guy is called the Monster Fly. Wow, look at that. Holy crap. That is awesome. Okay, Monster Fly, olive brown. This is 10 by 12. And I, I wanted the side pullouts or the guy line pockets. Uh, it had the same. So he said he would sew them in for me at no charge. Let's look at this. The material is. Let's see if I can get the material. The material is Sil Poly. And it's kind of confusing. There's something called Second Gen Sil Poly, and there's a PU 4000. But uh, Olive Brown. Boy, it looks. My lighting isn't good. It definitely looks black. But probably when I get outside. I'm going to try to make heads or tails. Let's look at some of the seams. The guy's in the military, so, you know, you work with them and give them a little time. He says he hand seam seals. So you can see the underneath, see the shiny? 
That was really nice. This thing is big. I'm going to have to get this outside. I don't see that he put the little pockets in for me. He must have forgotten. But that's okay. That was just a nice to have. It wasn't a must have. Well, guys. I'm going to kind of speed up so I can switch to this thing being deployed. Really quick, what I like to do is when I can pinpoint the ends of the tarp, what I like to do is I got this in uh, that one hammock camping book. I like to put these little rings on each side. And then I like to use some of these Dutch, Dutch hooks. And... I leave these permanently attached and I can just hook these on to my continuous ridge line. I'll show it to you outside. All right, so here it is. I'll, next photo you see is we'll be outside setting it up. All right, so we're about to install the tarp. I got A-Man out here. I'm gonna put up my continuous ridge line. Then we're gonna go time-lapse mode. We gotta attach our uh, guy lines to this tarp and we're going to put it in a porch mode where I'm using some uh, ski poles and we'll fast forward it up and then we'll kind of see how it looks. be honest with you, I'm a little worried about the seams. I only see single seams. I'm really worried when I pull this tarp that, you know, it may fail on me. And of course, this is just a backyard setup. So I'm nervous uh, if I was actually going to go put this thing out in the wilderness. But we'll see. I don't want to knock it. The fabric's supposed to be really good. but. You know, I know when I was doing close-ups inside the house showing you guys the seams, I said, oh, they look good. On second thought, they don't look too good. So let's just see how it goes. I'm not knocking the product. I thought I was getting a real good steal. Let's just see how it works. Okay, so, me and A-Man, we finally got this up. It, it's, it holds true to his name. It is a monster. Aiden, come on in. We had to flip-flop around to try to get some trees. I mean, I must have... I mean, this tarp is just a complete monster. Go ahead and zoom in right here, Aiden. Let's check it out. These guys aren't double seamed, but you know, it's holding. Nothing was ripping. I don't see any seams ripping. All right, we've got plenty of tie outs. I, this is almost a two person tarp. You, uh, if you look underneath here, I mean, it really gives you the, the scope. Uh, I mean, it's a monster. <laughs> you can see I like to do these little rings. This would be good if you have like six people with you and you want to have a area to go eat while it's raining. This would be perfect to have like a gathering tent. Yeah. You're definitely not going to get wet under this, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, what do you think? I mean, would you take this in, no. in relation to your tadpole or would you kind of keep what you had if you were going? Yeah. I, when I'm getting ready to go to bed after a whole 
like days of hiking. Yeah. You want something that'll come up really quickly and won't be too cumbersome, like you said. And, yeah. And I guess you could do this pretty fast, but it's definitely going to take you a lot more time than my regular tadpole. Yeah. Even though it's twice the size. I think you got to... Uh, one of the things that might be... I don't know if it's difficult to find spaced out trees or not. But I mean, <laughs> look at that. Holy mackerel. If you're in the, I mean, that's gotta be, what, 40 feet, Aiden? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I mean, between that tree and that one. Anyway, that's the tarp, folks. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. I don't think I'm taking this on the, I think if I was gonna do a, uh, like a false sprawl type deal. No, like extreme. You know, I'm not really sure. I kind of envisioned that I would go with this in extreme winter, deep winter. Okay, yeah. so that's the review of Mountain Wilderness Gear for their Monster Fly tarp. 12 foot by 10 feet, olive brown. $103 includes shipping. So if you're in the market and you wanna just pick up another tarp, Again, this hasn't been field tested or battle tested, so I can't tell you to put your whole, you know, adventuresome experience on this tarp. As much as I want to love this tarp and I'm going to keep it, the single stitching really bothers me and some of the extraneous threads. Look at my Clark tarp here. See the double rows? Look right here on the zoom in. See how things are cross stitched? This gives me a lot more assurance. All right. Jay Stevens reminded you to get out there on the trail. Hey man, you can't go on this trip, but we've got two more trips coming up, so we'll be killing it in December before our cruise. Jay Stevens 2010, signing out.